I wear a plastic every day. Take it off after maybe four hours. You see? It's the greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect. Actually doing it every single day. I didn't realize I was doing the greenhouse effect. sure that you click on that red subscribe button because you know I post videos that actually help out people to grow their hair. I have had so many reviews of people who have been watching my videos and they have been telling me that it was working for them and their hair is actually growing. So if you want to be part of the Worms family, please make sure that you click on the red subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my videos that I will post in the future not wasting much of your time right into this video okay. so guys today's topic is about the greenhouse effect doing uh the greenhouse effect every single day okay on my hair but not knowing it was actually the greenhouse effect i was just putting a plastic on my hair after i sprayed the living spray and i spent maybe the whole day with that plastic but i really didn't know that it was called the greenhouse effect now let me just explain what it is the main purpose of doing the greenhouse effect is to be able to boost your hair growth by encouraging follicles to open up through the increased blood flow as you sweat okay now it will open up the follicles all right and it will encourage increased blood as you sweat all right not only does the greenhouse effect encourage growth but it can also help to keep your hair moisturized at the same time your hair growth by encouraging your follicles to open up through the increased blood flow is you sweat so some other people don't actually sweat much so what i will encourage you to do okay, you can mist your scalp with water only use a living spray now this is my rice water fenugreek spray i've done a video if you want to know how i make this spray it's in the card above you can click on that button how i make this rice water fenugreek spray now you spray that you want you can use water plain water or a living spray all right just uh, mist it on your scalp and do that you also take an oil of your choice now this is what i do with my greenhouse effect method all right then i take my oil now you guys <laughs> very sorry because it's oily the bottle is oily because i use it on a regular basis okay so you take any oil of your choice this is my ayurvedic hair oil i've done a video also about it i'll leave it in the card you can go and see uh, that video as well so yeah i'll take my oil and then i'll put this oil bowel let me just go and do it so that you see okay take my hot water put it in there the oil to warm up so I always use warm oil on my hair because you guys, listen, if you have low porosity hair, the only way you can get moisture in your hair is by using um, anything that is warm to open up your cuticle. Let's talk about the bagging method. Now, the greenhouse effect method and the bagging method, it's actually more like the same thing, but it's actually different. Now, with the baggy method, what I do, my personal experience with the baggy method, I bag my ends, not my whole head, you guys. Now, I put cream, a living cream on my ends, and then I seal it up with an oil, and then I put plastic on my ends. I'll put a picture there so that you can see what I'm talking about. And I put the plastic on top of my ends, and then I just wear a plastic, okay, on the ends only. Then I just wrap my hair with a silk uh, head wrap. Now, this is the baggy method, okay? Why the baggy method could be your solution for dry ends, okay? Bagging is simple. Apply a moisturizer to your hair and then put on a plastic bag over your head two to three hours or overnight to lock in the moisture and promote hair growth. Now, we all know that our hair grows from the roots, right? Ends are breaking. You are not going to retain the length, okay? So you need to make sure that your ends are properly moisturized so that you can have 
you know, length retention. Now with the greenhouse effect, is that moisture in, okay, with the sweat. Now other people don't sweat as much, so you can actually take a, a simple water, spray it on your scalp, and then you take the oil, put it on your scalp, and then put it on your ends as well. Make sure that your ends are uh, really, really moisturized. And then this overnight, you guys. Now I'm going to show you now, you see my hair? It's very thick, you guys. I've been doing like rice water rinses on my hair. You see like the ends? They are very curly, very moisturized because actually yesterday I did greenhouse effect, uh, putting the oil on my ends and just putting a plastic on my hair, okay? Let me just show you. It's getting thicker and thicker. People are watching, you know that I have had a problem with my crown hair because flat ironing my hair way back then, maybe five years ago, I was, you know, I flat ironed my hair in the middle and it broke, you guys. It was like this. The length was like right there. So it actually grew. I'm actually surprised. So the hair with my crown hair is very short, but longer, which is good because, yeah, it was so bad, you guys. So the greenhouse effect every day. Now, personally with me, because on YouTube there are so many things that people tell you about greenhouse effect method, about the begging method, the personal take on the greenhouse effect. Now, if you do it maybe uh, so many times, like every single day, you might have moisture overload, which is what you don't want. Your hair will be gummy and your hair will easily break because it's getting moisture overload. Now, it's the same with protein overload. If you use like uh, protein treatments every single day, like what I do using rice water every single day, which is fine with me because my hair is not breaking at all. But if you do that and your hair doesn't like it, it's going to break. It's going to have protein overload. So it's the same thing with the greenhouse um, effect method with your hair, which is known as the GHE. Okay, so if you do this, you guys, if you do this on a regular basis and your hair looks gummy and stretchy, like that is going to break your hair. That is moisture overload because your hair sometimes it needs air. It needs to breathe. You don't need to be wearing a plastic the whole day, the whole night, the next day, the whole day, the whole night because you are going to suffer from uh, moisture overload and your hair is going to break actually. So you need to be really careful uh, with the greenhouse effect. But the greenhouse effect method, guys, can actually grow your hair. So I can call it the greenhouse effect for hair growth because it will grow your hair like crazy. I have been doing this every single day. You remember when I did the video about onion juice and rice water for hair growth? I'm going to put a card there. I did that and I wear a plastic, you guys. Every day when I did this, I would wear a plastic, but not knowing that it was the greenhouse effect method that I was using on my hair. So it really helped me on my hair journey, this greenhouse effect. It really helped me on my hair journey because um, our natural hair is naturally dry. Let's be honest, okay? I have to join my Facebook page. Now, I have talked to my followers about uh, what their struggles are uh, with their hair growth. Now, they have told me that breakage, a lot of people talk about breakage. Now, if you're suffering from breakage, it means that there is lack of moisture in your hair because natural hair, when it's dry, it breaks. Now, imagine a leaf, a dry leaf, all right? If you touch it like this, it's going to snap. It's going to break like crumbs, like that's what your hair is going to be when it's dry. So you need to keep your hair moisturized. Now, the other way you can do this is by doing the greenhouse effect for hair growth. The greenhouse effect method. You guys, my ends are very moisturized. I did the greenhouse effect yesterday. Look at them ends. Just look at that, you guys. Look at that. I did the greenhouse effect yesterday. But the oil as well was very, very warm. But doing the greenhouse effect on low porosity hair, you need to make sure that you are using any, any plastic of your choice. Now, if you don't have a shower cap, 
child use the plastic from the show but uh, use a normal plastic i use it. so this is what i am using if you are my regular watcher you know this plastic already you know it now it's a bit oily inside because i use it most of the time so you want to take a cloth uh put it here so that it won't go all over so my oil was in the hot water so i'm just going to shake it this is my aerobatic oil i put it on my edges because child i need some help with my edges but you guys i'm very happy that this greenhouse effect method was it was so beneficial for my hair and you guys some of the times i don't even wash out the oil i just leave it in to do its thing in the um i then take my hair and i then put the oil Warm oil penetrates into your cuticles very easily, you guys. Very, very easy. All right, so I'm not using much. Just using, I'm going to my rice water fenugreek spray on my ends. And then I'm going to twist this up. All right, going to put again the oil. All right. So guys, did you know that you could actually increase hair growth by doing the uh, greenhouse effect method? Did you know that you can actually increase your hair growth? Now, the greenhouse effect stimulates hair growth and has been proven to double and even triple the normal growth rate. And then the greenhouse effect method, it is perfect for keeping dryness in check. It adds in curl definition for those with curly hair. It makes it easy to seal moisture into your, into your strands, you guys. Jenny, okay, this greenhouse effect for hair, Jenny, you're going to love it, I promise. Now, the greenhouse effect is quite simply trapping the natural heat from your own body with plastic wrap or a shower cap so as to create the perfect environment for the pores on your scalp and the follicles to open up, allowing the growth rate to increase. It is recommended that you massage uh, oil into the hair to enhance the circulation which will boost the stimulation of the cells once the shower cap is put in place as you can see this this is my hair i'm going to undo it i just want to see all right look at that look at my hair you guys i've been doing the greenhouse effect so this is the greenhouse effect review <laughs> Or this is the greenhouse effect before and after result because when I started this my hair wasn't like this look at this look at this you guys look at how my hair is grown look at that look at that see the greenhouse effect you guys now I then take my oil put it all over my ends all right it's very very important you guys that you concentrate on your ends because your ends are the oldest part of your hair all right so this is how my ends are looking now very curly you see now so guys it's really important to do the greenhouse effect now as you have seen my hair thumbnail my hair is growing you guys because of this greenhouse effect and the other thing leave your hair alone you don't need to be touching your hair all the time leave your hair in a protective style you know do the greenhouse effect every time when you spray your hair with the leave-in spray with the, any leave-in spray make sure that you are wearing a plastic just to trap in the moisture you guys or if you're applying any oil on your hair make sure that you are wearing a plastic to trap in the moisture because it's so important um so yeah guys uh make sure that anything that you apply on your hair wear a plastic maybe for the whole day okay or maybe overnight all right make sure that you are wearing a plastic 
all right now this spray you guys is growing my hair look at my hair i'm so surprised my hair is growing like crazy look at that seriously because of this and the oil as well that's what i'm using so yeah this is the living with the rice water fenugreek spray just going to apply to my roots all right put it on my scalp and then put it on the length of my hair and the ends as well and then what i do i just take the oil and then put it on my ends your ends are the oldest part of your hair you guys <laughs> if you are my regular watcher you know that already i always make sure that i am giving special attention to my ends because your hair is always growing from the roots if your ends break guess what you're never going to see the length so take care of your ends because it's very very important so i just go on as well and i'm also trying to grow out my edges they are very stubborn but they are coming back you guys so i'm really really happy with that and then just spray it on my scalp one more time and then i'll tuck it in okay finished it head oh you know that i have a plastic in thank you so much guys for watching and if you have enjoyed please give it a thumbs up i leave a comment below greenhouse effect before is it working for you if you want to try it out guys just let me know if you want me to do another video explaining whatever you want me to post you guys just leave it in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one